Guys, we're back. Got some hot chocolate over here and uh, playing some more of the Outer Worlds. Um, that, that makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First, we go under. What the hell? Okay, well. Still super hot. That's not super hot. Okay, this. Oh, did she die? Bro. I was like, there's no way. Ah, oh, shit. That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I uh. vote the latter. Well, since we have... Here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Get over here. Here are the runners up ahead. Oh, I always wanted to float through a high beam wireless. They only got one on Terra 2. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Because yep. me and my sunshine? That's my gun, if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. Coherent enough response. You're clear. Hey, me. Huh? Hey, here we go. 
Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna wait here a minute bef so our health can uh, come back. We keep moving forward. Look for another way up. You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka! What are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I see why Neoka tolerates you. Fine, I'll do the talking. By the hand of faith and my own cutting skill, I run this station. The Marauders may have other plans, and since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you, You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing dead before. I know Nioka is, for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently.
tenéis So, boys. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service record. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. Some folks don't look kindly on me being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. <laughs> Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Graham and his iconoclasts believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it, as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You do that, luck... Be it...
the fuck do I get down? I mean, I can jump, but... And on this, I guess, and then... Oh, it's over there. fucking fast travel. Paper they use makes excellent. What? Me? While you keep no corp. We make our own living here. Some of us hunt. Some of us scavenge the ruins left by the corporations when they abandoned us. You're welcome to stay with us so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, you've heard Graham's teachings. I'm so glad. He and Zora have done such a wonderful job spreading the light around this dark, dark planet. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of Yeah. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Hmm. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I hate when people talk like this, like they're superiorists. It's just... I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, uh, but... I hate Devil's it. Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely? Uh, 
Uh, excuse me, I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know's ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Hmm. Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. They obsess over tossball and fashion, and the board uses these obsessions to control them. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. So be it. In the meantime, I will be here shouting truth into the Aether. Notification chemicals. I don't know. Nioka, I can smell. Wonder. Speaking. You bought rollers. Wait. It. What? One. We can use. Unbelievable. I hope I don't. Graham, if you need. The iconoclast. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to sod off. No one tells me to sod off. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? Yeah, I don't like this guy. 
Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. Soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why's that now? You gonna saw it off already? We're fixing a leaky. What are you, a safety inspector? Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that. Watch out your back. Let me go. Thanks for clearing out those goons. Bram ordered roll- Like I said, this is my last run. Get high capacity cartridges or extra- Got it. Give them all. Go on. I need to get moving. Go on. I need to get moving. What do you think of the unreliable Parvati? There's always something to fix, and it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Now, if I drill through the hull, we all suffocate. Exciting, you know. I, I'm not sure. Stay firm. I've got you. We wire. What do you think of the unreliable Parvati? There's always something to fix, and it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Matt? I'm telling those. They're welcome back, Captain. Damn it! Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming?
That is... Oh. A bat? I've already sent a team. You sent them? They... The hell? I have the utmost... This is worth bickering over. Look. Before you met the captain, I mean. Nah, I mostly just drank and hunted. As soon as you stop to dream of other things, that'll be the day something sneaks up in each. Don't fret, I'm watching you back now. Anything tries to eat us, I'll give it a mighty whack on the nose. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Careful. Only things you'll find in the Incoming! Shit. Hmm. All right, you know what? I'm going to save.
and call it a video, guys. I'm sorry that we ended on this shit note, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, push the bell button, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.